Hey guys, I'm Isia, and today we're going to be setting up a tree farm with the Rotocraft woodcutter. Um, we're also going to be uh, doing a little, uh, tiny little uh, discussion on, uh, what are they called, uh, gearboxes. Um, <laughs> you have to excuse me, I meant to do this uh, episode yesterday, and something got happened, something did happen, and my train of thought uh, went out of whack, so as usual, this episode will have faults in it like all other episodes have always had problems and weird vocabulary issues <coughs> so let's just go get on to making the woodcutter it's pretty easy um these saws are actually uh just essentially uh gears um except when you make the gears actually i can make just do an example one now actually i don't want to make i want to waste i should have one there yep so the saws are pretty easy it's just uh like a gear so you put the HSL steel ingots on the outside. Um, so if you did this, you'd get a whoops impeller. So you just move them around. You get the <coughs> the saw. So you need two saws, two X gear. So these are just made just like the the wooden ones I showed you on previous episodes. Uh, some base panels and a HSL steel eel ingot. Excellent. Actually, before we get that, we need to make uh, some shafts. So. Not the, actually, no, it's a mount, we need that for something else. Um, we need to make some wooden shafts. We only need wood for this because uh, the speed and torque isn't above a certain limit, which is, I think we only need like a, let's see, what, what speed do we need? Mm, not that much, so it's all right, yeah. As you can see, these things can go up to 3,500 rads, so, and 278 torque, which is plenty. We aren't going to be going anywhere near that. So let's go chuck this one down. Okay, since I've already got a, a tree farm going here, I'm just gonna use this one. Uh, I'm going to rotate it around. So the cutting edge is facing the tree. And what we're gonna do now is go and make a, uh, we're gonna make a steam engine. That's what I totally forgot to make. Uh, steam engine, steam engine. See, told you I forget something. So I'm assuming we need that. I'm gonna need that. Uh, see anything else in here? Don't want to use the gearbox or the gears. Okay, let's just look up uh, the gear, uh, the steam engine. So it's power, steam engine, cobblestone, cobblestone impeller, condenser, uh, shaft unit. So. Cobblestone. We need that impeller. Need the shaft. There's a condenser there. Two base panels there. Um, need some more base panels. Need a condenser, which I think is like that. It might be a little bit wrong. No, nope, that's a condenser. Oops, wrong side, this one. Condenser, base panel, and do I have a piece of gold hanging around? Probably not. Gold, nope. Gold, yay, gold. Okay, see, told you I forget something. Not to worry, pretty easy to make. Uh, okay, gold, steam engine, there we go. Now we've got the steam engine. Uh, the steam engine itself produces a uh, only 32 newt means of torque. The woodcutter requires 64. It does require, it does produce the quite required amount of power. So we're going to need to up the gear ratio for that. As you guys know that um, gearboxes generally need a uh, lubricant, but because the, uh, the machine is going to be all the way over there, um, we're going to be using a, a diamond uh, 2x gearbox. So I've got the 2x gears here. So it is fairly expensive, but the good thing about the diamond gearboxes is that um, they do require lubricant, but they don't use lubricant. So yeah, so we're gonna go set that up first. Put it there, rotate it around so the output's in the right place. It needs to be in torque mode, so just leave it as it is. And we're going to need to rotate this 
No. Is it filling up with water? I think the it is, but the connection's sort of broken. Let's just fix that up. So the water goes in from behind, makes that connection properly, yes. Okay, that should be heating up. And then we need to run some shafts. Oh, actually we need to put lubricant in this so we can bucket it in. Oh, that was close. That would have damaged the gearbox if, it, if that engine had started before this thing had lubricant in it. Okay, actually, let's do it this way. Oh, shift, shift, shift. Okay, that should power that. The woodcutter itself will um, start cutting down the tree and it will eject the items off to, well, it'll eject the items out the bottom or to the side, depending which way it can fit the items out. If you have a chest below it, <coughs> it will automatically inject into it. <coughs> and there it is, it's starting to cut. So when we look from a little bit far away, you can see it cutting the leads from one direction. The woodcutter itself, um, as long as there's a tree that's uh, in front of it, it will cut down. Um, so essentially its range is essentially just one square in front of it. But if the tree is connected to another tree, um, so via the leaves or via the wood, it will cut down that tree. But it needs a starting point tree here first, if I'm correct. So I've tested this, so I've had this giant big farm of trees and the trees didn't get cut down until a tree grew in front of this machine. So yeah, as you can see it's cutting down. You also get sawmill, sawdust, which can turn to paper and so forth, uh, spruce. Um, you get saplings. If you, uh, it automatically replants saplings as well. So it should finish this one pretty soon. These things can be overclocked um, by increasing the speed of them. Uh, for a tree size this this big, I wouldn't suggest over, overclocking them, mainly because uh, you're also reliant on how fast the trees will regrow. But if you've got a big tree farm, yeah, overclock away, I guess. Okay, so now onto the talks about the gearboxes. Um, this uh, we've already pointed out that this gearbox here. It doesn't use any lubricant at all. As you can see, it hasn't used any from when we put in there. Um, the different versions of the gearboxes, so the wood, the stone, uh, and the steel ones, they all use lubricant. Um, from, what, from my testing, uh, they didn't use, uh, they all use the same amount of lubricant. Uh, mind you, there could be something a little hidden in the code that I don't know about, but that was a, uh, a test setup where basically a 2x gearbox was using the lubricant. So uh, let me let me that let me know if uh, you've noticed that uh, gearboxes that are like 16 or 8x uh, tend to use more lubricant faster. Um, of like if a uh, how should I put this? Let me know if a uh, higher tiered uh, gearboxes have a difference between the materials. In regards to lubricant use that sounds better uh, you've also got the bedrock gearboxes which don't use any lubricant at all so uh, it's no real use testing that I did however notice that the wooden gearboxes they uh, they do explode uh, which I've known always known they will explode if they run out of lubricant um, another thing is if they are next to something that uh, can catch fire they can start fire so yeah where the steel and cobblestone gearboxes, uh, when they run out of lubricant, um, like all the other gearboxes, they uh, start losing um, efficiency, they start getting damaged, the amount of power that they, they can send through them gets down, gets all the way down to 512 watts and sits there, which is essentially just like a 99% damage. Um, but they will continue on transmitting the power through where the wooden one will break and potentially catch or cause things to catch fire on so um, yeah so oh I also noticed that this machine like a lot of other machines inside Radiocraft you can um, enchant them so if you enchant this one with uh, uh, infinity it will always 
replant. So which is good for, say, trees that have a low drop rate for saplings. This will automatically replant them um, every single time if it has the infinity enchantment on it. So yeah. So that's about it for today, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, it will be great help. If you've got any questions, um, any tips, let me know. Um, yeah. And until next time. Ready. Aim. Fire.